Hello again, my name is Achilles. Here's how to make an early turbo fuel factory that produces 7500 megawatts of power and 75 packaged turbo fuel. The inputs required for this factory is 240 coal and sulfur per minute as well as 600 cubic meters of crude oil per minute. The location I chose to build is here. You can find a coal pure node here and two sulfur nodes. One is pure, that one, and another one is normal, which is above. To start, place 30 fuel generators and connect them to each other. Now, line up 16 refineries, connect the pipes, and set these to produce turbo fuel. Next is to connect the input pipes like so. The next part is to align 9 refineries and 10 assemblers. Mm -hmm. 
Once done, set the assemblers to produce compact coal and the refineries to produce fuel with a byproduct of polymer resin. Now it's time to connect the compact coal and fuel to the turbo fuel refineries and merge all the polymer resin to be used for making plastic later on. Next step is to place 5 refineries, set them to make residual plastic, connect the inputs for water and polymer resin, and lastly merge all the outputs to be used for making empty canisters later. Place two constructors and input plastic from the refineries and place two packagers in front of them. Make sure you underclock the constructors to produce 37.5 empty canisters per minute and overclock each packager to produce 37.5 packaged turbo fuel per minute.
much done. Now make sure you overclock this oil extractor to produce 600 crude oil per minute. Here are my pipes. Here's where the pipe passes through towards the second floor and make sure you place a water pump at the bottom so that the water and oil can rise up. That's the oil line. And here is also where you input the 240 coal and sulfur per minute for the compact coal. Before we turn on the fuel generators, make sure you get a smart splitter right here. <laughs> there you go. And you overflow the plastic and sink it to an awesome sink so that it doesn't get backed up. At the same time, you can also sink the polymer resin to be extra sure. It doesn't normally back up, but just in case, we have it ready. This way, this factory is self-sustaining. Now, the last step is to connect the turbo fuel output from the refineries to the fuel generators. To prevent the fluctuating power, I suggest that you make sure all the fuel generators are backed up to full before you connect them to your power. This way, it won't take forever to be stable. Thank you again for tuning in. My name's Achilles, and I'll see you next time. Bye.